Continuing our Tan Stack series here, let's cover pathless routes today. Now, if you didn't see my latest or my previous videos on Tan Stack, to where we cover catch all routes, dynamic routes, index routes, static routes, and a bunch of other stuff related to routes, that might be helpful before moving to this kind of video here. But if you're already familiar with Tan Stack and you just want to know how to do pathless routes, then this video is going to show you how to do that. So, what we're going to do here is first go over the docs kind of conceptually here, and then we're going to clone the project that I made earlier about just kind of tin stack fundamentals, and then show you some examples of using pathless routes. So first off here, what is a pathless route in tin stack? Well, a pathless route is a route that is prefixed with an underscore, and this is considered pathless, meaning the routes can be used to wrap child routes with additional components and logic without requiring a matching path in the URL. So you might be thinking, this is cool, I guess. What, what, what would you actually use this for? Well, you could wrap routes with a layout component. You could enforce a loader component. You could validate and provide search frames to child routes, provide fullbacks, and share context between child routes. And here it says the part of the path after the underscore prefix is used as the route's ID. It is required because every route must be uniquely identifiable, especially when using TypeScript to avoid type errors. So here they show kind of an example, which I don't think perfectly makes sense here. Well, it does, but I think it makes much more sense when we'll go to implement this. But here it says in our example route tree above, the underscore allow route is a pathless route the wraps layout a and layout b this means that when the url is forward slash layout a the underscore layout layout a route will be matched and the component tree will look like this so what they're saying here is if they have an underscore layout file so this file right here and they render some sort of layout when the url is forward slash layout a that will automatically render this layout as kind of a wrapper around layout a which if that doesn't make sense let's start diving into the code right now so i'm going to go to my github project here and i will link this in the description and i'll also link this section of the docs here but for this github project what we're going to do is just clone this repo so i'm going to go to code and then you'll see HTTPS, and then I'm going to click copy URL to clipboard. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to head over to VS Code. And within whatever folder you want to clone this repository, I'm going to just run git clone and then paste my URL. So that's going to clone into that. I'm going to run ls. I'm going to see I have 10 stack fundamentals. I'm going to run file open and then I'm going to open Tanstack fundamentals within VS code. So now I'm within my Tanstack fundamentals project and what you should see as like your root project here is a public folder as well as an SRC folder. And our SRC folder is going to contain all of our our routes that I kind of previously made. So we've kind of already set up Tanstack router within this project using file based routing. So once you're in this project here, I'll close this file. Once you're in this project here, what you're going to want to do is run npm install, which is going to install all of our dependencies and packages. And once that's installed, what you're going to do is run npm start, and we will start this project up. And it should open up a localhost 3000 here for us. And you should see we have a very basic kind of application here set up with a home, about, and post page, which when we implemented dynamic routes, I actually removed this post page, which is why you don't see that page. But now I'm going to open a new terminal here. So I'm going to click this plus icon and I'm going to run TSR watch, which is basically going to say it's telling Tanstack to basically generate new routes when we create new routes within our routes folder here. So this will make sure Tanstack automatically generates some new routes here for us. But now I'm going to close this and let's create 
a kind of layout component here. So what we're going to do to do this is within our routes folder, I'm going to create a new file. And this is going to be underscore layout dot JSX. And for this layout file, what we're going to do here is it generates some code for us automatically. We're just going to remove this and we're going to do import star as react from react. And then we're also going to import outlet as well as create file route from, and that's going to be at TN stack react router. And then here we're going to create a route. So export const route is equal to create file route. And then we're going to call this. And then the route that we are going to match here is forward slash underscore layout. And then we are going to call this again here, passing an object. And we're going to set our component. This is going to be a layout component that we are going to create. So this is should be very familiar with you if you've watched my previous videos. But basically, all we're doing here is creating a new route. We're specifying the path that we want to match, although it will generate this for us automatically as well. But let's create a function here called layout component. And for this layout component, we are just going to return maybe a wrapper div and then maybe an h1 that says my layout component. And then let's just put like a horizontal rule. And then we also need to render, make sure we render the rest of our kind of children here or our child layouts. And the way that TanStack does this is with an outlet component. So we're going to render that there. This would be very similar to doing something like, you know, accepting children and then rendering out this children prop here. But TanStack uses a layout component to do this. So we've created this underscore layout, but this is a pathless route. So like this isn't going to match really anything right now. So how can we create pages that are going to have this layout within it? Well, the way that we do this is we can create a new route here, but all we need to do is prefix it with underscore layout. And that's going to match this kind of layout component here. So if I do new file, I do underscore lay lay out and then what what route do we want to create let's create maybe i don't know if you guys have watched my videos before you know i like dogs and watches so let's just do dogs.jsx and then as you can see it automatically generates this route for us here with the correct path because we have file based route set up and we can just kind of keep this as it is. We don't need to make this any more complex. So if I go to forward slash dogs, we're going to see this page. But as you can see, the path here is underscore layout forward slash dogs. But it's not the path that we go to is just going to be forward slash dogs because this is a pathless route. This is not actually going to be present within our URL. This is basically just telling TanStack for this dog's page, we want to also render out this layout component. So let's go to forward slash dogs here within our router. So I'm going to go forward slash dogs. And then we see hello layout forward slash dogs, which is this component right here. You can imagine this is like a dog's page, but we also see our layout component here my layout component, my layout component. Because even at forward slash dogs here, the way that we set up this route is we're basically telling team stack, we want to render the layout component here when we go to forward slash dogs. But since we prefix this with underscore layout dot dogs, it's going to make this a pathless underscore layout and it's going to render our layout component when we go to forward slash dogs. So if we wanted to make different layouts for different pages, well, we could do like, maybe let's do a new file and let's name this underscore watches layout, all one word, maybe dot JSX. 
And then we want to make sure here though, in this page to render a outlet component. So I'm going to just copy underscore layout, go back to underscore watches layout, and then paste this in here. And then you can see when I hit save, it automatically changes this route for us. And I'll name this my watches layout component. So now if I want to make this layout here, a layout for a certain page, well, I just need to make sure for that page, I need to prefix it with underscore watches layout. And then I can say dot watches dot JSX. So what I'm telling Tanstack here is that for my watches page, so this could be like, you know, a watch page with a bunch of information, but I have a specific watches layout that I want to use for this watch page. Well, prefixing this file with underscore watches layout is telling Tanstack I want to render this layout right here, my underscore watches layout for my forward slash watches page. So now if I go to forward slash watches, you see, I render a different layout. I get my, my watches layout. So you can basically create new pages with a specific layout that you want to create, or this doesn't need to be a layout. It could be any, you could really render any kind of wrapper component around a page. So this could be like a loader or sharing context between these pages or anything like that, you will just prefix it with whatever wrapper component that you want to make. So let's just do one more here and I'll do a new file and I'll do just underscore wrapper dot JSX. And for this wrapper, it should have a similar structure to our previous layouts here. So I'm going to do this, but let's just do an H1 generic wrapper component. And then now if I want to create a page that has this kind of layout wrap around it, then all we need to do here is do underscore wrapper dot, let's do rolex.com. And it's not going to be dot com. It's going to be dot JSX, my bad. So now if I go to four slash Rolex, we should see our wrapper component here. And we do see our generic wrapper component. So that is how within Tanstack, you can basically create wrapper components around your different routes using that underscore prefix. And like I said, this can be useful for layout components, loaders, validating parameters, providing fallbacks, shared context, and different things like that. So hopefully that was clear. I decided to make it its own video because it can be a little bit tricky at first when you're kind of just first reading the docs and seeing this. But next up, we'll move to non-nested routes in Tanstack Router.